Today, we will learn about the magical girl into the latest trends of fashion and makeup, Wika Ayano. So let's begin. Wika Ayano is a 14-year-old magia type magical girl. She is 153 centimeters in height, her eyes are red and her hair is blonde. And she comes from Chora Ward in Kamehama City. Her soul gem is a red flower located beneath her neck and her weapon is a mirror compact, which is a combat that has a built-in mirror and this is used for makeup. The exact wording of her wish to become a magical girl is unknown, but her wish is stated to be for a person she likes to fall in love with her. She attends Choro Academy in the 9th grade. Her, Rika has no witch or doppel release at the time of this information. Rika's magical girl element is the fire element and her ability is change of mind, changing the subjects she is interested in. A magical girl who is into the latest fashion and makeup. Rika appears to be the typical girly girl, but she is actually very serious in love. She has been secretly admiring the same person for years, a genuine person. She gets along with everyone. Rika is invited to a blind date by Amiri Kazaki. Amiri brings along Hanani Miyako, who just had her heart broken. During the blind date, the boys make fun of Hanano's youthful appearance and odd speech patterns. Rika sticks up for Hanano, much to the leisure's surprise. It is also revealed Hanano is actually a third year high school student. After the blind date, Rika leaves with Emery and Hanano. Rika admits that, like Hanano, she also has a broken heart. Hanano realizes she didn't say anything about that and that Amiri told Rika Hanano then yells at Amiri for telling people embarrassing things about herself. Amiri and Rika reassure Hanano and Rika adds that Hanano is cool for being able to confess to her crush. In Rika's case, she never confessed it and her crush already had someone. Amiri then suggests that Rika should make a wish. Amiri reveals that herself and Hanano are magical girls and that they go get one wish. She also tells Rika that magical girls have to fight monsters, but brushes it off as a walk in the park. Rika wonders if this is some sort of game. While Hanano chastises Amiri for speaking about magical girls, Rika wonders if she could wish to change a person's feelings. To which Amiri agrees. Hanano warns Rika against becoming a magical girl, but after some prompting from Amire, suggests that Rika should wish for something that seems impossible and also to think about the price. After Rika leaves Amire and Hanano, Kyubei appears before her and offers her a contract. Rika thinks about what Hanano and Amire has said to her. She then flashes back to how her crush is dating someone. She ejects to become a magical girl, mentally apologizes to Hanano. Rika muses that her wish was granted and is going out with her crush, yet she still feels unhappy. Kyube appears and asks Rika if she can explain what's wrong. Rika admits that even though she's happy, every time the person she loves smiles at her, her chest tightens. Later, Rika fights a witch and meets two other magical girls. Rena Ami and Manaka Harumi. Rina instantly thinks Rika has gone berserk and tells Rika that her fighting style is both dangerous and inelegant. Manaka then points out that Rina didn't have any elegant fighting styles either. To Rina's protest, Rika then compares them to a comedy duo and explains she fights wishes as a form of stress relief. Later, Kyubei contacts Rika as she fights another witch and tells her that she's fighting dangerously. 
Vika is annoyed by this, but then she sees Hanano is in the barrier. After the battle, Vika praises Hanano, who is shocked to find Vika is a magical girl. Hanano also tells Vika her fighting style is too dangerous, and Vika explains again that it's stress relief. Hanano tells Vika to try something else, but Vika says she can't. Hanano then asks Rika why she's unhappy. Rika explains that while she wished it for her love to be fulfilled, she thinks it's all fake. She says that it's if her crush only likes her because of her magical complexion, then it might as well be a lie. Hanano then asks why Rika became a magical girl in the first place. Rika explains that if she didn't make a wish, she would never have a chance to in the first place. When Hanano asks her for an explanation, Rika explain, reveals that the person she likes is a girl. Rika asks Hanano if what she said is gross and weird, but Hanano says it's not. Rika wonders how it was so easy to reveal the truth to Hanano. Rika and Hanano fight together against a witch. Hanano says that Rika is still fighting dangerously, but Rika says she's planning to stop it after this. Rika then explains she broke up with her crush. Hanano asks if it was because it was a fake love. Rika says that it was part of it. She said that for four years she loved it her childhood friend, but she remained friends with her. When Kribe came, Rika admits she should have rejected his contract. She explains that she accepted the contract because when she saw her childhood friend with a new boyfriend, Rika realized that she could never give her friend the same feelings that her boyfriend did. Rika then says that if she breaks up with her friend, then the boyfriend would have a chance. Rika tells Hanano that her wish caused the girl she liked and her boyfriend to completely forget about each other, as if they never met in the first place. Rika then explains how the boyfriend helped it find Rika's lost ticket at a train station. When this happened, Rika realized the girl she likes and her boyfriend were perfect for each other. Rika explains that she's the one who broke them up, so breaking them up with a girl friend is a way of settling things right. Hanano is impressed that Rika had enough willpower to make that decision. Rika says there's one more thing she needs to do. She brings Hanano to her school, and together plans to plans a notebook of Rika's ex-girlfriend in the back of her ex-boyfriend. They do the same thing for the boy's notebook in the girl's back, seeing the boy and girl meet each other again. Rika says everything is great. Afterwards, Rika tells Hanano that the girl and the boy were like the prince and princess of a fairy tale and therefore desire to be together. Rika isn't sure what, what that makes her, but she, then she decides she's like her friend's little love Cupid. Rika is surprised to see that Hanano is crying, unaware she is crying herself. Rika asks Hanano to laugh again, but Hanano says no one could laugh. At what happened. Finally, Rika tells Hanano she loves her, but then she is not the way, as Hanano really is not her type. Rika then starts laughing. Hanano stops crying, and the two affirm their friendship. Rika has gained the ability to change what her target is interested in as a result of her wish. This ability can be used to redirect the attention of her enemies onto another person or object or simply make others interested in her if she desires to get their attention. The limits of this ability aren't exactly known, but it seems Rika is able to use this ability to keep any number of people interested in her at any time at once. For one time. Within Compact, Rika possesses a magical, girl, magical compact mirror that can fire constructed blasts of energy. She can do these as a small energy blast or a large constructed beam during her magic attack. There, there one can primarily say her primary form of offense is manipulating amounts of light energy to harm her enemies. Her first name, Rika, means pure and flower, and her last name, Ayano, means a kind of Chinese traditional silk fabric which normally has a diagonal texture on, or plain respectfully.
Fact number one, her illustrator is Mishima Saki. Fact two, Wika is the first confirmed magical girl to have a crush on someone of the same gender. So she's LGBTQ, yes, Yuri. Fact three, Wika's voice actor is Kanai Ito, who you may know as the voice of Amu Hiramori in Shugo Chara, Ari in Queen's Blade, Sane Nagasuki in Squid Girl, Yuri in Sword Art Online, I mean Yui, Suzuka Karihara in Fade, Collider, Liner, Prisma, Ilya, and Amethyst in Land of the Luscious. And that's Rika Aino. Next time, I'll be talking about another artist magical girl like Alia Gray, Mayo Kozo. So let's see you next time.